All right, so before you start this at home resistance band back workout, first thing you want to do is take your dog if you got one, and you're gonna have to put him away because otherwise he's gonna be jumping on you the whole damn time. So I'll be right back and let me take care of this real quick. Come on. T walk, hit the battlefield and go berserk. 20 inch arms pumping iron till you know it hurt. He looking like he probably fresh out the pen. But nah, he just consistent, young and fresh out the gym. If you wanna gain muscle, or you trying to get thin. That's the guy to talk to if you trying to win. Alright, and mind you, if you hear my dog crying in the background, there's no dog abuse going on around here. I just had to put him away for a little bit so I can bang out this resistance band back workout for y'all. So alright, let's start the video. Alright, so with the first couple movements, what you want to do is find you a nice doorway in your house. Get you your resistance band. One or two, depending on how strong you are, but one should be enough, especially if you're a beginner. And you see what I did? Take it, make sure it's about even, and slam the door shut off. So yeah, shut that resistance band in the door out of the way. You got something to pull on. And for the first couple workouts, we're gonna use this. I'm gonna try to show y'all pretty much every possible way to work your back, tone up your back for beginners. Even me, I'm experienced, I guess you could say, and I do these sometimes if I don't feel like going to the gym or say it's the winter time and it's bad weather, you can't get there. So you gotta do what you can, like I always say, because it's that simple. So yeah, so I'm gonna try to show y'all pretty much every possible way to work your back and to get that that bra fat right there, because I know that's the spot most females hate and the main thing they want to work on. So this will be the perfect routine for this. So with all these exercises, you want to do at least three sets if you can, of uh, pretty much 10 to 15 reps if you can get more, do that. Push yourself, push yourself to the limit. Don't make no excuses. This is the easiest way to get it done at home, right? This band, five dollars, you got a five below in your neighborhood. You have a family dollar, dollar store, you can usually find you some nice resistance bands. You can get the different color ones, different levels of resistance. So this is pretty much intermediate. So yeah, find those, invest wisely, put that five bucks down, and let's get into the workout. All right, so the first exercise, we're gonna start off with close grip. These would be normally cable rows at the gym, resistance band rows here. So as you see, I pretty much have my fingers interlocked with it. And what you want to do is you always want to pull low. You never want to pull high because that's working more of your shoulders than it is your bra fat area and your back. So pull, as you see, I'm pulling low. This one, I'm keeping my hands pretty much interlocked close together. the same thing except for this one you're keeping your hands farther apart because you want to hit that back in as many ways possible as many angles switch it up throw it in to hit all of them little particular muscles to get that definition get rid of that fat and tighten it up so with these same thing you want to pull low and not high and just squeeze as you see I'm squeezing it at the end and same thing except this one it's a wider grip Now for this exercise, as you see, you're gonna kinda turn away from it. You wanna take a few steps away so that you get that resistance. And we're gonna use one arm, and you're just gonna take it 
and you're gonna pull it down and get that squeeze at the bottom. Like I said, you wanna hit that back in as many angles as possible, and I'm showing y'all the exercises that are really gonna target right there where you want that damn back fat. So yeah, this is another exercise you can throw in. Check it out. get into cable, you can call these rear delt flies, reverse flies, whatever you want to call them. As you see, you're going to pull it back, get that good squeeze. These would typically be for your rear delts, but this also, if you pull kind of, the lower you pull, the more it's going to hit right there, that bra fat, that back. So yeah, pull low or pull high, either way, it's going to cap off that back, tone it up, and make it look much better. So this next exercise is single arm across the body row. So as you see, I'm bringing it from across the body so you can get more of a stretch and then squeezing it back here. Always with every exercise, get that good squeeze. That's the only way you're gonna get that definition in and get rid of that fat. Now we're hitting them cable pull downs. With these, you want to step away from it so you can get that a good resistance. And it's real simple. Step away, you can lean slightly forward, but keep your back locked into place. And you're just gonna, as you see, I'm pulling them down and getting that good squeeze in your lats. <laughs> pretty much all you're going to need the door for. Now I'm going to take y'all into some other variations. Another way you can hit that back. So let's get into it. I'm really trying to help y'all, especially y'all ladies, tone up that back. Get rid of that bra fat. Here's a fun fact for you. I don't know about other guys, but me personally, and I don't have any friends that are going around and seeing a good looking chick being like, yeah, that chick look good, but did you, did you see her bra fat though? I can't mess with that. So stop stressing it. It's all good. No man sees bra fat and is just disgusted. Like, I don't know whose pet peeve that is, but it seems that you ladies, that's really your pet peeve and you really want to get rid of it. So I'm here to help y'all out. But stay positive and know that as long as you holding it down, keeping it together pretty good, no man's turning you down because you got a little bit of bra fat. And at the same time, I don't know me or any of my friends who have some kind of female back fetish. So, I ain't never been with one of my boys and be like, yo, you see uh, you see Shorty's back over there? Yeah, I'm about to go get her number and shit. I ain't never seen that. I've never did it personally. So once again, the back, it's not that big of a deal. But since y'all think it is, I'm here to help y'all out and tone that thing up for y'all. So let's get into it. All right, now for this exercise, again, working the back in another way. You're putting that band behind your head 
You might have to fold the bat in half because you don't want to be as long so it can be a good amount of resistance. So yeah, fold it, put it behind your head, fold it in half. As you see, I'm just bringing it through, getting that good squeeze in my backs, my rear delts, bringing out, again, more of that definition. Now if you do it first with two hands at a time, the next exercise you're going to do one arm at a time. Just another way to switch it up, this time bring your left, bring it back to the top, to your right. Same shit. Now next thing we're going to get into is bent over, this mimics bent over dumbbell rows. But this, same thing, except you're using a band. So with this, you're gonna bend over, make sure your back's straight though, pull it in and squeeze. And again, always pull low. So pull towards your hip and not up here, because that's how you mess your shoulders up and you're not hitting the muscle properly. started this video I said begin a back workout but now I just busted out pretty much every back exercise I can for at home and my backs burned the hell out so this is for a beginner for advanced if you're more advanced throwing more sets of each exercise if you're a beginner start out with one set of each exercise it's a lot of exercises to put in one routine where it shouldn't take too long like I said don't take much money $5 resistance band at your dollar store or five below or whatever you got in your neighborhood and won't take long. Don't gotta drive to the gym. Do it in the peace of your own house. Don't gotta worry about people looking at you if that's what you're worried about. And yeah, hopefully this was very informative. It'll help y'all get rid of that right there, that raw fat, tighten up your back, your rear shoulders, and just look good when you're having your tank top or your spaghetti straps, whatever it is you're wearing, whether it's summertime, or whatever the case may be at the gym. Stay tuned for future videos I'll be doing at home for y'all. Biceps, triceps, shoulders, legs, anything you can think of, abs, and I'll be bringing these videos, try to really help y'all out, help the beginners. Like I said, help the advanced, because this isn't just for beginners. It's just normally what beginners would do because when you think of beginners, you think of people who want to do stuff at home. But that's not always the case. Like I said, for me, I'm more than bad from doing this six plus years, and I still get these home back workouts, resistant band workouts with every body part in when I need to. So, hey, as always, do what you gotta do because it's that simple. T-Walk the Hawk.